Good morning and welcome to day 30 of the Mindfulness Challenge. I hope uh, you're all doing well and you're looking forward to a wonderful day ahead. Um, 30 days in, who'd have thought it, eh? Today we're going to be talking about um, a topic really that's quite close to my heart because of uh, the severity and, and, and on times the role that this emotion played in my... Um, in my life and, and specifically to a point in my life because and the word is anxiety so people feeling anxious um, and it's a word that I believe is used a lot today um, without actually understanding truly what it means and understanding what an anxiety attack really is and and the levels of that anxiety and mindfulness um, as a tool for me anyway shines a light through that anxiety it, it it shines a light through all of our emotions and experiences but it a journey through anxiety can be a real challenging one and if we're not ab adopting a compassionate non-judgmental attitude towards some of these experiences through awareness so we have the ability to be able to be aware then you know things can be difficult but we know that by cultivating mindfulness towards an experience or emotion it's a really powerful tool to mentally navigate your way through some of the anxious feelings that you're feeling today yesterday right here right now and mindfulness exercises um for anxiety are a very very powerful tool i lost my dad uh, 12 years ago on the 28th of April 2020 I lost him in 2008 and my anxiety and 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 those sort of things went through the roof and mindfulness really was the key that that sort of unlocked the door through the challenges and feelings and emotions of grief and anxiety at those times and you know we really need to think about how and what anxiety is and, and our relations to that. So a deeper understanding of anxiety is a great first step to guiding us through some of these experiences. And if we can start by sort of defining what anxiety is and, and simply speaking, for me anyway, um, anxiety is this fear of uncontrolled fear, worry or unease and, and sometimes this anxiety can be very subtle, but it can build to be very strong and, and, and it varies in its influence it has over our lives. And it's, um, it's, it's a normal phenomenon that we're seeing more and more. And I said to you before in one of the things, it's our relationship to stress as well. But also anxiety is often um, built and cultivated in the mind but it has a profound effect on our physical body too. So the symptoms of anxiety, when you might be feeling, you might be, have feelings of panic and fear. You have sort of this, this feeling on times of helplessness and despair. There's a sense of, of, a, of, a, of a danger, but most often it's, it's not life-threatening. There's a withdrawal as well. You just wanna, just wanna draw the curtains and, and lay in bed and move away from society and friends and family. And there's this, you become very irritable. There can be this agitation as well and feelings of of being completely overwhelmed, chest pain, heart palpitations, upset stomach maybe, and even digestive issues, sleep disturbances, insomnia and sweating, and the list goes on. Now, as I'm reading this out, how many of you are going, wow, that, I've had a few of those. We all do um, because anxiety is, is, is an emotion that is quite common, but you know, anxiety manifests itself differently within each of us. So sometimes it's easy to notice while at other times it's not, okay? And while it might be similar to stress, anxiety is often more presence in the absence of real imminent danger or thoughts of that. So an acute stress response helps us to sort of fight or flight to get away from some of this danger, but persistent uh, response has a negative impact and that builds through anxiety so when we're working with anxiety it's important to notice the limitations of mindfulness and meditation they are incredible tools but for many people 
you have to have complementary healing modalities as well. So there's other things that, that can help you with anxiety and things like sleep and eating and health and well-being and all of those things can, can help you overcome some of these things. But we know that mindfulness helps anxiety. It helped me, it changed my life. Mindfulness and mindfulness meditation are benefit, beneficial tools for managing the experience and the buildup of anxiety. And as I said before, as we sort of shine this light on our experiences through the mindfulness lens, we develop new perspectives. Um, we gain clearer insights. Uh, mindfulness will begin to put things at a distance between ourselves and emotions, creating that loving kindness awareness. So when we're challenging our negative thoughts as they arise, we get better at witnessing them rather than attaching them. It's very important that I want us to witness our emotions and in particular the one we're talking about today, anxiety, and not attach to it. So we know, you know, ancient cultures for centuries, numerous scientific studies have supported the role of mindfulness and meditation in lessening and working with anxiety. And, and the reasons why is because mindfulness allows us to shift our perspective. It encourages us to step aside from our habitual thoughts. And in doing so, we start to um, curiously and compassionately explore the ways in which we can move through some of these situations. But it also strengthens our connection, connection to our stable core. Okay, and that, you know, that allows us through meditation and the practice of meditation to come to our core and give us that level of stability. It also helps us connect in our mind to our body. So mindfulness, you know, helps us to recognize our emotions and phys physical experiences. But what it does do is it allows us to become que curious about them and, and the location of the anxiety when it rises through the body. Why? Because when we tune in to physical sensations, our attention drifts from the mind and everything gets put on the back burner. And in, in many ways, this then grants us an entry into a peaceful moment, a, a moment of mindfulness, breath to breath. It also eases the stress response. So additionally, many mindfulness and meditation processes sort of incorporate breath work because the breath plays a really large role in the body's stress response to elaborate when feelings of um, anxiety arise the breath becomes shallow and the body acts as if it's in imminent danger the blood quickens the digestive system shuts off our hormones enter into fight or flight and at this stage turning in the breath gradually deeper it also um it also there for a relaxation response, but sometimes the shallow breath can bring on the anxiety. Be, oh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And we've all had those issues where, you know, our anxious thoughts start to, to get a tight grip and they begin, you know, to, to really, but then we can use mindfulness to stop and soften and return back to change the equilibrium of what's around us. We also know that mindfulness has the ability, as we said before, through neuroplasticity to change the brain. It reduces anxiety through shifting the function of the brain. And, and there's so many studies that have found that mindfulness practices can over time cause um, uh, certain areas of that anxiety part of your brain your, to, to shrink. And, and the area of the brain that's associated with fear and, and plays you know, a huge active role in, in responses to stress, we can work on that and it can help shrink that. So there are countless studies, as I said before, about interconnection between mindfulness and anxiety, as well as sort of between meditation and anxiety. As we start to get, you know, a much greater understanding of these practices, you know, we can find out, um, you know, many ways of how we're going to be able to work with it. So anxiety and the relief of anxiety opens this, great breath awareness so it moves us the meditation we're going to do now is it's going to move us through a series of positive affirmations it's going to help us to rest the anxious mind because our anxious thoughts are deeply interwoven with our underlying beliefs and positive affirmations can really help ease those worries and fears okay so a lot of this is our response to it don't attach to it just be aware of it and hold it with loving kindness. It's the same message every single day, but we're using it differently to cope with emotions and specific things as they arise. 
So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go into a guided meditation. I want you to get comfortable. I'm going to put a picture up and I want you to welcome in your heart with your eyes closed. I want you to welcome into your heart this healing session for anxiety. Get into that comfortable position, relaxed position. And as you get into that position and you take a deep breath in, I just want you to it may be the morning, but just oh, just relax and, and, and let go of some of the stresses and strains that you might have brought through from the day before or anything that's spiked you so far today. In many ways, as we always say, just allow yourself to be just here now, letting your body just be. And you don't have to do anything because our bodies naturally want to be calm and relaxed. Sometimes thinking too much or being too tense and being anxious obviously doesn't allow us to relax. So naturally, we must let go of any of the control of the present moment and future outcomes. Just sit there and breathe. We feel anxious because we tend to overanalyze what we think will happen today, tomorrow or next week. But we do this out of habit because in the past, situations and outcomes that didn't happen the way we expected and we tend to feel that we need to be in control and be worried. So in order really in many ways to change this habit we must change our self-image and create new beliefs, new habits, positive affirmations. That's why this session, this, this meditation will teach you first that we need to get into a relaxed state and go within calm in our mind with some breathing and we're going to do that so I'm going to count down and with a, with a number every number I say I want you to fully inhale and, and with your belly and exhale and tightening your belly and with each breath you're going to feel more and more relaxed taking you into a deep state of peace and relaxation so I'm going to count down now. So every time I count down, I want you to fully inhale with your belly and exhale, tightening your belly. Five, take a deep breath in and as you, and as you exhale, the tension loosens a little bit. Four, take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, you feel more, feel more relaxed and the tensions, you're just letting it all go. Three, take a full deep breath in. Hold it for a second and breathe out, tightening your belly. Now your mind is becoming calm and your mind is becoming clearer. Two, inhale deeply. And when you exhale this time, I want you to observe how the need to control subsides as you become more and more relaxed. One, as you take your last breath, deep breath in. I want you to exhale slowly so you feel any tension is gone and you're in a complete peace and tranquility situation. And at this point, I just want you to hear yourself saying, you hear yourself with this mantra of, I've survived this before, I'll survive this now. I'm strong and I preserve through anything. I know that I'm not my anxiety. I can take things one step at a time. I live only in this moment and I preach, approach this situation with openness and curiosity. I'm fully in charge of my breathing and I can slow it down when I need to. I enjoy my feelings of these moments of inner calm. At this time, every time I breathe in and every time I breathe out, I'm actively taking steps to reduce any of my anxiety. I breathe in positive affirmations that I'm talented and I have many things to offer. 
and I'm cultivating patience through mindfulness to overcome anxiety. I believe that I am courageous and I can make it through anything and everything. I use my beautiful, unique strengths, my mindfulness, my breathing to move beyond anxiety. I know what I value and place in my energy and I know life wants what's best for me. I am truly blessed, comfortable and connected with myself and with my environment. I can find pleasure in my life right now. I would only allow for healthy decisions in my life. I am a strong and independent person. I am loved. I am unique. I am important. I matter, therefore I am worthy. I can do this. I love who I am. I am in control. I control my mind and it does not control me. We hold those thoughts for a moment. I have the power within me to stop anxiety, to hold it in a loving kindness and know that I have no attachment to it. I have the power to do this. I succeed in what I do. I am relaxed. I am calm. I am successful. I am free from my anxiety. With every breath, I know that I am in control. In fact, with every breath, I know I'm above the stress of any kind. Even in challenging situations, I know that all will be well. I am safe. I am prepared for the challenges that are in front of me and I am prepared for the changes that need to be made. I am strong. I acknowledge that when times are difficult, that I can have this loving kindness and awareness to be able to move away from those emotions and feelings of anxiety. And I know that I can rise above. Now I'm going to count down from five and with each number I say I want you to gain more and more awareness of the present moment and as you do you bring with you all that you've gained today. You can now take action with a new mindset ready to tackle any challenges, any situations and any emotions without getting anxious or worried. Five, coming back slowly. Four, feel how your body is in the sitting position with your breath, moment to moment. Three, you're becoming more alert, comfortable, relaxed and ready. Two, you're aware of the situations a bit more around you as we push our awareness to the present moment. One, you are now fully awake refreshed and back in the room. Wiggle your fingers and move your feet. Well done. So that's a meditation we can revert back to and some of these meditations they need to be cultivated over a period of time but there's so many positive emotions in there and realize that everything will pass and the difficult situations that are around us that rise we can we can breathe through them. We don't need to put mental chatter on the top of it and with anxiety we know that we can be in control of our breath from moment to moment and that's all we need. Hope you enjoyed today's session, day 30, how to deal with anxiety. And I hope you, when you woke up this morning, you put your hand on your heart and said, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian, I love you. Thank you for watching. I shall see you tomorrow on day 31 of these 100 days. We're nearly a third of the way through. Um, God bless you. Be love and give love. Take care. And, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a lovely day. And don't forget, we are in control. And don't attach to any of those emotions.
today is a good day. Thank you.